Hello everybody, I'm Voidless and I wanted to make a small tutorial. How I do my line arts, how I color and how I draw wings and feathers because I love drawing wings and feathers. Um, so yeah, I thought I will show a little bit. Um, I might speed up a few times if I don't know what to say. So usually my canvas is at least 3000 or 4000 pixels big, wide, large, whatever. Uh, so if I want to print it, I could always print them out on an, for a big poster, A3 size, or anything like that, if I like the picture in the end, and it, if it's not fan art, because I don't sell fan art if it's not allowed to. Usually, your number one friend are references. So I went to Google and looked for bird references and actually those are really really nice to see how wings are shaped. Uh, those little graphics you can find for anatomy of the wing are really helpful. So I can see if I just paint over it. I will know how the paint how my wings go. So it goes here and here and somewhere here hidden. <laughs> Something like that. Same for this one here. It goes here, ah, here, here, and here. So yeah, I never know how these are all cold, but I know somehow how they look like, how their anatomy is and how it works. So I don't try to be 100% on point with what I do, but just make it feel as if it might be right. Okay, so I start out with mostly sketches. Like here is my shoulder, here will be the lower part, which will be this one. Then comes the long part, and then come the wing itself. So this would be somewhat a basic wing for me, which I can now do all those parts here, which are always shapes for me. So I can go ahead and start adding the shapes into my wings. Somewhat, as I said, I don't try to make it look real, I just try to go as close as possible so it looks like it actually works. So I got this shape here, and then the wings here. So now I can go ahead and do more details see where my wings, where my feathers would go to. So much for the basics, I guess. If I want to do them more in perspective, I will try to try around. give them some kind of shape. Most of the things are like um, draw them once and you know somewhat how they would behave and look like. So it would probably maybe be something like that. Here is my front wing. So it looks like it's in flight already. Or even if I don't see what I draw, I will always draw it at least sketchy, so I have still the feeling for it and how it might look like. So in this example you would not see anything that would be underneath it. It's nearly like an animation. <laughs> so 
so yeah basically like that the more you draw wings and uh, in different perspectives and like in flight or resting or anything the more you will memorize how it looks like even in 3d kind of space so I will go ahead and outline this one I will hide that there we go for my pens I usually use the default mapping pen in Clip Studio Paint because oops, it has a nice pen pressure which I did modify a little bit so I won't press too hard like with my minimum value so it already starts out a little bit thicker because I don't want to smash my pen onto my tablet too hard Alright, so yeah, first sketch is done. As I said, I'm no wing expert. You saw me how I redid a bunch because I know the top of the wings looks different than the uh, underside. It's always a little bit hard to draw in perspective, so yeah. But they somewhat look like wings. <laughs> also, you should not be afraid to use the transform tool. I like to use the um, edit transform mesh transformation. So I have this grid. If I need more uh, divisions, I, u I can just go here and add more, and so it's more um, more detailed to do it. And then I can always apply. So yeah, time for cleanup. I'm still using my mapping pen, I did not change my pen once. And as you saw me here doing, I like to do some small dot-like things, dots and um, lines. Because it gives it a little bit more life instead of it being just a blank, flat place. Now I have my middle line, which you have with feathers and from the middle line on I will see in which direction they go there we go and do some little lines here and because feathers are not always perfect I like to erase the edges and do some random lines in between Here we are with a wing. You could go ahead and add just some more little things up here to have them more, more closed off. I think actually yes, so I'm gonna leave that. What do you like to do to make the outlines more stronger because they seem very uh, similar except for a few parts. Uh, I usually add another layer. This will be my ink layer. And I will throw all of that into an empty one. So now I could go ahead, zoom in, and just paint them darker to make them go come stronger. So you will see them pop out in a bit. There we go. You can see, you know now exactly where they where the front begins, 
you could go and add this to the rest or you could just leave it maybe just make it slightly not as strong as I do now so yeah so if you have your line out it's time for coloring I make another folder here colorful folder and now I'll hide that again I can go to my color wheel and I will just pick I usually don't draw even I don't even draw on white I usually make it a little bit darker to get easier on my eyes so now I will go take somewhat random color because I would change it later I just need it for a base for now So now I can go ahead and make it grayish, so I will make this one a little bit darker so I see it. And this is my base color I have now. What I want to do, because I cell shade, I um, will add another layer on top, put them into a folder, put them on clipping layer, so this folder is clipping the base color underneath so I won't draw over it and now I will go ahead and draw shadows My light source is coming from here somewhere, so I will have shadows in a few places, the wings will drop shadows on, uh, the feathers will drop shadows on the ones underneath, same for here, here you would have all shadows, and here probably too, but yeah, that's basically it, a few of them can go and have shadows inside of here, I'm gonna add them just really quickly here a little bit it always also helps to go um, with your object so I would not sh suddenly shade like that but I will shade with the wing if I shade same for line arting because you can see my, my little lines on my wings go with the wings flow always it just makes it feel more natural so yeah that's my basic shading now I can go ahead in my folder where I, where I have my clipped cell shading and now I will clip on top of the not clipped cell shade some paint so I will change to my soft brush I usually go it, it depends on what I have in my scene but something oh wrong layer there something with yellowish to something with violet some dark violet so it's still colorful but not too extremely colorful and if I want to I can add some lighter ones to have a better blending inside here if I don't want my shadows to be too extremely there you go, much better much softer, you still have shadows in there, but they are way softer and more colorful. Sometimes I do my uh, my folder on multiply mode or hmm, depends overlay not. I really depends mostly multiply, but for wings it actually works without. Another thing I do is over the whole coloring folder. I will add some light again, which usually is something bluish, though blue makes it feel colder. If I would go into the right one, 
something like that and clip it to my wing and play with the options I have here so I could add a glow not this kind of strong one but something like that and maybe start br oops start brushing more if I for example <laughs> god damn it there if I for example want to have this part darker either way same for this one then I'm gonna blur and play with my multiplying layers again something like that hard light instead of normal will give it some more bluish tint and then maybe not make it so dark so yeah Add a bit more glow here and what I also like to do is add all my black lines, ink and outlines into an extra folder and color those lines with a clipping layer just slightly. I could go overboard and do it really light but I usually don't want to have it lighter than my darkest uh, parts. So something something like that. It feels better because it's not black anymore, it's lighter. It makes it feel more dynamic too. And what you also could do is just add colors in your line arts so I can if I'm on my right pencil tool on the right tool add more yellowish here or I could even add red. It always just depends what kind of mood you have, what you want to do. So yeah, that's basically how I do my line arts, how I color and how I um, edit afterwards. I hope you liked it and yeah, see you soon.